Ayasofia Ayasofia is a late antique place of worship in Istanbul, designed by the Greek geometers Isidore of Miletus and Anthemius of Trilles. Built in 537 as the Patriarchal Cathedral of the Imperial Capital of Constantinople, it was the largest Christian church of the Eastern Roman Empire, the Byzantine Empire, and the Eastern Orthodox Church. Hi everyone, welcome back into my channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up. In today's video we are going to continue our last video of Aya Sophia. If you haven't watched part 1, click the i cards on the right corner of your screen. Istanbul formerly known as Constantinople, is the largest city in Turkey and the country's economic, cultural and historic center. The city straddles the Bosporus Strait, and lies in both Europe and Asia, with a population of over 15 million residents, comprising 19% of the population of Turkey. Istanbul is the most populous city in Europe, and the world's 15th largest city. Hagia Sophia Part 2 According to the 13th century Greek historian Nicetas Choniates, the Emperor John II Komnenos celebrated a revived Roman triumph after his victory over the Danish Mandids at the Siege of Castamon in 1133. 92, after proceeding through the streets on foot carrying a cross with a silver quadriga bearing the icon of the Virgin Mary, the Emperor participated in a ceremony at the cathedral before entering the Imperial Palace. In 1168, another triumph was held by the Emperor Manuel I Comnenus, again proceeding with a gilded silver quadriga bearing the icon of the Virgin from the now demolished East Gate, or Gate of St. Barbara, later the Turkish, top caps, lit. Cannon Gate, in the Propontis Wall, to Hagia Sophia for a Thanksgiving service, and then to the Imperial Palace. In 1203, during the Fourth Crusade, the emperors Isaac II Angelus and Alexius IV Angelus stripped Hagia Sophia of all gold ornaments and silver oil lamps in order to pay off the crusaders who had ousted Alexius III Angelus and helped Isaac return to the throne. Upon the subsequent sack of Constantinople in 1204, the church was further ransacked and desecrated by the crusaders, as described by Choniates, though he did not witness the events in person. According to his account, composed at the court of the Rump Empire of Nicaea, Hagia Sophia was stripped of its remaining metal ornaments, its altar was smashed into pieces, and a woman laden with sin sang and danced on the Sintronin. The Crusaders massacred some clerics who had surrendered to them. Most of the interior was damaged and would not be repaired until its return to Orthodox control in 1261. The sack of Hagia Sophia, and Constantinople in general, remained a sore point in Catholic Eastern Orthodox relations. During the Latin occupation of Constantinople, 1204-1261, the church became a Latin Catholic cathedral. Baldwin I of Constantinople he is the first emperor of the Latin Empire of Constantinople Count of Flanders, as Baldwin IX, from 1194 to 1205 and Count of Anno, as Baldwin VI, from 1195 to 1205. Baldwin was one of the most prominent leaders of the Fourth Crusade. He was crowned emperor on May 16, 1204 in Hagia Sophia in a ceremony which closely followed Byzantine practices. In the 19th century, an Italian restoration team placed a cenotaph marker, frequently mistaken as being a medieval artifact, near the probable location and is still visible today. The original tomb was destroyed by the Ottomans during the conversion of the church into a mosque. Upon the capture of Constantinople in 1261 by the Empire of Nicaea and the Emperor Michael VIII Paleologus, R1261-1282, the church was in a dilapidated state. On December 12, 1452, Isidore of Kiev proclaimed in Hagia Sophia the long-anticipated ecclesiastical union between the Western Catholic and Eastern Orthodox churches as decided at the Council of Florence and decreed by the Papal Bull. 
The union was unpopular among the Byzantines, who had already expelled the Patriarch of Constantinople, Gregory III, for his pro-union stance. A new Patriarch was not installed until after the Ottoman conquest. According to the Greek historian Doukas, the Hagia Sophia was tainted by these Catholic associations, and the anti-union Orthodox faithful avoided the cathedral, considering it to be a haunt of demons and a Hellenic temple of Roman paganism. According to Nestor Eskander's tale on the taking of Tsargrad, Hagia Sophia was the focus of an alarming omen interpreted as the Holy Spirit abandoning Constantinople on May 21, 1453, in the final days of the Siege of Constantinople. The sky lit up, illuminating the city, and many people gathered and saw on the Church of the Wisdom, at the top of the window, a large flame of fire issuing forth. It encircled the entire neck of the church for a long time. The flame gathered into one, its flame altered, and there was an indescribable light. At once it took to the sky. The light itself has gone up to heaven. The gates of heaven were opened. The light was received and again they were closed. This phenomenon was perhaps St. Elmo's fire induced by gunpowder smoke and unusual weather. The eventual fall of Constantinople had long been predicted in apocalyptic literature. A reference to the destruction of a city founded on seven hills in the Book of Revelation was frequently understood to be about Constantinople, and the apocalypse of Pseudo-Methodius had predicted an Ishmaelite conquest of the Roman Empire. From the time of Procopius in the reign of Justinian, the equestrian imperial statue on the column of Justinian in the Augusta and beside Hagia Sophia, which gestured towards Asia with right hand, was understood to represent the emperor holding back the threat to the Romans from the Sasanian Empire in the Roman-Persian Wars, while the orb or globus crucigar held in the statue's left was an expression of the global power of the Roman emperor. 1453 to 1935 Constantinople fell to the attacking Ottoman forces on May 29, 1453. Sultan Mehmed II entered the city and performed the Friday prayer and kutbah in Hagia Sophia, and this action marked the official conversion of Hagia Sophia into a mosque. The church's priests and religious personnel continued to perform Christian rites, prayers, and ceremonies until they were compelled to stop by the invaders. When Mehmed and his entourage entered the church, he ordered that it be converted into a mosque immediately. In 1935, the first Turkish president and founder of the Republic of Turkey, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, transformed the building into a museum. The carpet and the layer of mortar underneath were removed and marble floor decorations such as the Omphalion appeared for the first time since the Fossidus restoration, when the white plaster covering many of the mosaics had been removed. Due to neglect, the condition of the structure continued to deteriorate, prompting the World Monuments Fund to include the Hagia Sophia in their 1996 and 1998 watch lists. During this time period, the building's copper roof had cracked, causing water to leak down over the fragile frescoes and mosaics. Moisture entered from below as well. Rising groundwater increased the level of humidity within the monument, creating an unstable environment for stone and paint. The WMF secured a series of grants from 1997 to 2002 for the restoration of the dome. The first stage of work involved the structural stabilization and repair of the cracked roof, which was undertaken with the participation of the Turkish Ministry of Culture and Tourism. What are the distinctive characteristics of the Hagia Sophia? Hagia Sophia is famous for the light that reflects everywhere in the interior of the nave, giving the dome the appearance of hovering above. This effect was achieved by inserting 40 windows around the base of the original structure. Moreover, the insertion of the windows in the dome structure lowers its weight. Hagia Sophia is so famous? Because of some reasons. As architectural, the cathedral is amazing. Mosaic art is impressive. It is standing for around 1,500 years. Even, Hagia Sophia Istanbul has been damaged by severe earthquakes in previous centuries, it still looks powerful with performed necessary restorations serving to both Orthodox and Muslim. Converted into a mosque from a cathedral. 
Hagia Sophia is often called the eighth wonder of the world. It has been selected as one of the 21 finalists of the official Seven Wonders of the World competition. Unfortunately, it is not one of the Seven Wonders. Based on the limited number of studies up to date completed by several researchers, they revealed some secrets of the Hagia Sophia underground tunnels and cisterns. Basically, these studies began in the 1930s, however, stopped due to the Second World War. After a while, they started again, but the water under the Hagia Sophia was another problem. A group of researchers deeply investigated the cisterns, wells, and tunnels in recent history. Additionally, the documentary producer who also influenced Dan Brown's Inferno book investigated the underground. They found out many interesting things. Top Copy Palace and the Basilica Cistern were connected by two tunnels. The explored cistern has been used for water storage. Under the ground, the researchers explored conduits. Also, they found some graves. The tunnels under Hagia Sophia were reaching to crypto rooms. The Blue Mosque in Istanbul, also known by its official name, the Sultan Ahmed Mosque is an Ottoman-era historical imperial mosque located in Istanbul, Turkey. A functioning mosque, it also attracts large numbers of tourist visitors. It was constructed between 1609 and 1616 during the rule of Ahmed I. Its collier contains Ahmed's tomb, a madrasa and a hospice. Hand-painted blue tiles adorn the mosque's interior walls, and at night the mosque is bathed in blue as lights frame the mosque's five main domes, six minarets and eight secondary domes. It sits next to the Hagia Sophia, the principal mosque of Istanbul until the Blue Mosque's construction and another popular tourist site. The Blue Mosque was included in the UNESCO World Heritage Site list in 1985 under the name of Historic Areas of Istanbul. The Blue Mosque has five main domes, six minarets, and eight secondary domes. The design is the culmination of two centuries of Ottoman mosque development. It incorporates many Byzantine elements of the neighboring Hagia Sophia with traditional Islamic architecture and is considered to be the last great mosque of the classical period. The architect, Sadifkar Mehmed Dog, synthesized the ideas of his master Shinan, aiming for overwhelming size, majesty and splendor. The upper area is decorated with approximately 20,000 hand-painted glazed ceramic in 60 different tulip patterns. The lower stories are illuminated by 200 stained glass windows. The mosque is preceded by a forecourt with a large fountain and special area for ablution.